Hey everyone, Smite for the win here. Today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of how I animate in Flash, Photoshop, and After Effects. Uh, I'm going to do the best I can to provide information so if you are trying to learn how to animate yourself, you can apply these techniques. Uh, so I'm starting here with Flash. Um, I'm doing in-game. Right now, Lockarn comes up behind a confessor, smacks him in the face, and then he goes flying like a bitch. Uh, as you can see, I already did all the outlining. Um, I've just started coloring it now, and I have some of the the red in the background is the rough, usually just a keyframe, which shows him, you know, fly out, uh, and then the, the shock wave, and then the the uh, the dirt and rocks coming out. Uh, so what I'm going to do here with Flash is, like I said, I already outlined this I do in Flash. I color in Flash as well. Um, once I'm done with that, I export everything from here into Photoshop where I'm going to make the, the uh, shockwave and everything else. And then I'm going to put the background and a couple other things on After Effects. So people a lot of times ask me what I use to animate. The program that I animate is with Flash. The device that I use, currently I'm using a Cintiq uh, 24HD. Also something I've noticed with Flash is it's weird sometimes. What I mean by that is sometimes you'll be you know, clicking on, on something to color or to fill in, it doesn't fill in, you don't know what's going on. You can go here to the gap area. I always leave it at least close small gas. If you leave it on the don't, then you're gonna hate yourself. And then I click on this and then I go to fill in and it still doesn't fill in. That's when I know that it's flash being a pain in the ass and you're just gonna get that sometimes and you just have to figure out. Usually there's like a line somewhere. Like, okay, here's a good example. Right here, this little area right here, that's kind of a, see how when I click on it, when I click this, it's all one. But when I click on this, it's like it's a, its own little vector like thing that might fuck you up and might not allow you to fill something in. And it's so hard to see, right? Like you can't see that from there, but that's kind of what happens sometimes. And what I just do is I just grab the area, I delete it, say go suck an ass, and then I fill it in like that. So it's all one and then that's gonna fill in. All right, guys, I finished everything for this scene. So, so as you can tell here, I have these three. So what you do, you highlight it, go to Copy Frames, go to New, because you kind of want to have your own kind of export, you know, so you can do scene by scene. Because if you were to export, you know, the your whole file, then every single frame would go with it and you obviously don't want that. So I do 19, 1920 by 1080, which is, you know, 1080i, um, frame rate doesn't matter. Right click, paste frames. Just want to make sure that that's all right. You want to make sure you don't have a background, you know, it's, that it is white here. I had the, the purple background but here, nothing. Um, in this case, this could all stay the same, it, the same as it is, but the red in the background, I'm going to take 
and I'm going to put it beside. The reason why I'm putting beside is that when I export everything, it's going to be flattened. So these two right here are their own uh, layers here, but when they get exported, this is going to just become one image. So because of that, if this was still behind it, it would just be a part of these images and you don't want that. And the reason why I want to keep them is, you know, I'm going to use the, uh, the, the shockwave and I'm going to draw that in Photoshop. So now you go to export, export movie. Make sure that this is as PNG sequence. Um, make sure that you have your own folder for all this stuff. This is what I have. Um, I'm just gonna, I have a storyboard that, to keep everything a little bit more neat, but since I don't have that out, and I'll remember what this is. I'll just say lock, smacks, smacks, smacks. And because of that, I mean, you don't need to name it everything, you know, because it's all going to be in this file, lo uh, lock smacks, but if, if you want to, you just name it something, whatever, lock or anything, doesn't matter. So again, PNG sequence, save, this is going to come up. I like to keep it at 3200 by 1800, which is still 1920 by 1080, it's just it's blown up a little bit more. Um, make sure that smooth is turned off, expo. Oh, a very obvious thing that I did not say in the last one is make sure that you save frequently. So yeah, in the next video, I am going to show you what I do in Photoshop. I'll see you there.